our body contains and it is uh, it is human consciousness it's the expression of human consciousness it speaks it listens it delivers and it carries us wherever we need to go it takes care of us I admire it I think it I every day more and more there is something that I really want to convey to people and it's whoever's listening is that the body is the final frontier it's not out there somewhere it's in the body we need to go in the body to grow spiritually it's in the body where where we learn what we need to learn to expand our consciousness and feeling comfortable in the body it's really where it's at I dialogue with the body because it's a it's a dialogue it's I hear it I listen to it I speak to it it speaks back to me so things are always uh, happening in the present um, and so consciousness you know the way that I started to become uh, informed that the body is my best friend and probably my greatest teacher of all is that I started to listen to my body and I started to realize that I am a steward of my body I need to take care of it because it is constantly giving me feedback on what I'm doing right or what I'm where I'm lacking where I'm not giving enough or where things are just not happening in the way that are supporting me so then it's instant feedback and you know I can feel the body I respond emotionally I have gut reactions or I have um, you know even just the idea of sweating the idea of, of um, body temperature all of these things of the body these are messages so don't be afraid of what you might experience in the body don't feel feel afraid of experiencing pleasure and beauty and uh, enjoying what it's like to be in the body I'm not talking about um, being completely polarized by a selfish kind of um, drive of seeking only pleasure I'm talking about something that is more fundamental than that and it's uh, true presence with your body and being um, very honest about how your body feels for you and how how you feel in your body and recognizing that to be a centered human being really means to live in the awareness of who you are beyond personality and asking the question who am I can take years to answer lifetimes or you know it's uh, it's one of these eternal questions uh, we can spend the rest of our life answering this but it really is living with a question that is important and not so much finding the answer because it is these questions these kinds of deep questions that keep us in the center in the center of our experience but in any case, um, our own body, which is our greatest teacher, is constantly asking us to focus again, to bring us back to center, to what is important, to how am I uh, taking care of what is my, my tool, my vehicle here. Uh, these are very, very real things and the body is very real 
and drawing our attention to that. It doesn't mean being self-centered. It simply is a, a practice of paying attention. And paying attention to the body, that's the, our closest, that's what we have with us. And so it's just developing a practice of paying attention, being in the center, being in the moment, being mindful. This is being in the center. It is becoming friendly with the, ide with the idea of feeling what it's like to be in the body, feeling, um, gaining a, a, a deeper insight into how we process emotions or thoughts. Um, and this paying attention is, how do I understand certain triggers? What does it do to me? What do I think of? What am I feeling? Just these very, very basic questions that we live with, that we can uh, continue to ask ourselves daily. So I would say again, consciousness is a process of creation. It is, um, it's this igniting, this process of ignition. It is not something, it is, uh, it's, it's not a static thing, it's not something that can be contained. It is an experience. Consciousness is an experience of creation. It is how creation experiences itself, how it uh, continues to uh, receive feedback from itself and to continue to create. 